differentiation of the square root function from first principles. Well, let fx equal the square root of x. Now we know the f dash x, or the derivative function, is equal to the limit as h goes towards 0 of function x plus h minus function x all over h. So simply replacing this x with x plus h here, we get f dash x equals the limit as h goes towards 0 of the square root of x plus h minus the square root of x all over h. Now, in the next step, what we're going to do, we're going to sort of derationalize this. So in other words, we're going to move this to the bottom rather than the top by multiplying top and bottom by the conjugate of this. That is, same thing with a, a plus sign instead of a minus sign. And by doing that, what happens is when you multiply these two together, you're going to get the x plus h. And those two together, you get the minus x. And the inside term and the outside term drop out. And the h goes in front of this uh, square root of x plus h plus square root of x. Now you can see here that the x will go out and live with h on the top. And then, of course, in the next line, you simply cancel these h's and you get 1 over the square root of x plus h plus x. Now, as h goes towards 0, this will become 1 over the square root of x plus the square root of x, which of course is 1 over 2 root x, and that's the derivative. Now, if you apply the rule, we know that fx is equal to x to the half. Therefore, f dash x will be equal to a half x, and take 1 away from that, you get minus a half, which of course gives the result we had over here. All right.